Now we're going to go to Buffalo. And actually, we get a lot of people talking about the Sabres in the mid-70s when they were really good. And, of course, they had the amazing French Connection line. And and you had, you know, Gilbert Perrault, Rick Martin, and someone that you really wanted to talk about, Rene Robert. <laughs> well, when I was going through this list, uh, uh, Buffalo fans, first of all, Buffalo fans love, love, love their team. They are fiercely protective of their team, but they have a kind of a love-hate relationship with their team because they want their team to be better than it is. Uh, and all they can do basically is put up with what they have. Uh, so they, but they love, they absolutely love their team. And when I looked at uh, this list, I saw uh, Gilbert Perrault. And in a little bit of time, we'll talk about Richard Martin or R Rick Martin as well. And, uh, but nobody mentioned Rene Robert. And I thought, if we're talking about truly forgotten stars of the NHL, we've mentioned Gilbert Perrault. We've mentioned Rick Martin on this list. Where's Rene Robert? I mean, he got ha he has to be one of the truly forgotten guys. But anyway, let's talk about Gilbert Perrault first. Uh, Perrault, mentioned by Dave Chislinski, uh, won a Calder in 70-71. He won the Lady Bing in 72-73. He's a two-time All-Star. Uh, he was named to the NHL 100th anniversary team and part of that great, great, great French connection line. 17 years as a Buffalo Sabre, Shawnee. 17 years. Uh, never played with another team, but he is like the, the embodiment, I guess, of the Buffalo Sabres and they, their years. 74, 75, of course, they went to the Stanley Cup final against uh, Philadelphia, who can never forget the, the fog game when Jimmy Lorenz had to bat the bat out of the uh, sky because the bats, of course, are... Uh, they, they, their vision or whatever operates on sonar uh, in the fog. They're, it's like in the dark. So they came out doo -doo -doo, flying around and Jimmy Lorenz bats the bat out of the sky with his hockey stick. One uh, of the, we've talked about the 70 draft many times, Howie. And you tell the great story of, of how they decided to, to, to get the number one pick and uh, spinning the wheel and the Sabres, were the lucky team. Vancouver, not as much, but they ended up with Dale Talon, who, you know, turned out to be one of the great general managers uh, in the NHL, as well as a player. Uh, but it is amazing to have an expansion team in 1970 and then them building towards this great success to 75. Perot had an amazing career. You had the odd, don't forget the odd. I know you brought about the fog game, but just the odd in general. And it just feels like in an era that you had the Habs, the Big Bad Bruins, the Islanders, you know, the Sabres were right up there, but they could never get over that hump. They were a really interesting team to watch. As you said, they went from relative obscurity and expansion and Five years later, they're playing in the Stanley Cup final. It, it was it was kind of an incredible run. Uh, probably something we'll never see again because expansion is not the same as it was back in 1970 or in the, in the 70s. What do you think? And Scotty Bowman, you know, left Montreal, went to Buffalo, sort of took over the operation as coach and GM. What were they missing? In, in your, you know, going back, uh, was it was it goaltending? Um even though Don Edwards was a great goaltender at that time. Uh, what was missing? What was that ingredient, do you think, that didn't lead them to to more, to a different level? Uh, to me, it always starts on defense. Mind you, they had some pretty, they were, they were a good team. They were a really good team. They were. But, but. I mean, when you're talking about the teams that they were playing against, Edmonton in the 80s, uh, the Islanders could play any way you wanted to play. They could play a skill game. They could play a physical game. They could beat you in any way that they that you wanted to play. And, I mean, it's it's not denigrating to the Buffalo Sabres to say, why weren't you better than the, the New York Islanders? I mean, the Islanders were one of the great teams of all time. You know, the Edmonton Oilers could fly and score goals, and they could, they could just outscore you, uh, you know, you know, you had Calgary, you had Montreal in the in the later '80s uh, that were still decent teams, and I don't know to, to say what was missing. I mean, 
they had they had pretty much everything. They just didn't have enough of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, getting back to Rene Robert, what made him so special uh, to that French Connection line? Oh, Rene Robert. I mean, that line was was incredible. They, they could they they were dominating the league wherever they went. I mean, it just happened that Rene Robert wasn't mentioned on this list. I I thought of him when I looked at the list and saw the other names. You know, uh, Rick, Rick Martin's name and or uh, Richard Martin as he was known when he broke into the NHL and and Gilbert Perrault. And I mean, uh, the French Connection was a popular movie at the time. The line got their name from that. And uh, so, I mean, I just, I just mentioned Rene Robert because people forgot to put him on this list. 